Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. My name's Charlie, and today we're gonna be playing some more of the Happy Home Paradise DLC. And if you didn't watch the original video that I did on this, my first time playing it, you have no idea what's in store, and I'm a little terrified for you, I won't lie. I'd like to preface this by saying that I really think design is my passion. It makes me the happiest out of anything in the world. So I am just so, oh my God, it's Nico. I love Nico so much. If you're here to work, go check in with Lottie. Oh, absolutely I will. <gasps> and we have new villagers here. Oh my goodness. This duck's kind of cute. <gasps> it's the mob boss hamster. Oh, look at what, what is he doing? He's like dancing or something. Oh my gosh. Oh, hit him with the old razzle dazzle. Oh, I love him so much. Okay, I need to go check in and get my uniform on one moment. Got something a little different for you this time. Remember when we looked at that empty facility together? Well, we got the necessary permits to turn it into a school? Oh my goodness, that's great news. I was very impressed with the permitting process. It was much quicker than I expected. Oh my gosh, our first facility. Let's go. Oh, it's so cute. Here we are. Not that we had far to go. It's like five feet, but that's all right. I think we should start by freshening up the exterior. Could use some personality. You know, better than anybody, I can put some personality into a house. Now the school that I went to was legitimately designed by a prison architect. So I'm gonna try to get some inspiration from that, you know? Let's see, let's see. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Oh, I kind of like the gray siding. We can, we can, ooh. I think this is the most prison-y we're gonna get. Just kind of like monochromatic. <laughs> I don't know, I, th that's fine. Oh my, that, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was, goodness. It really does look like a prison too. Like actually, I think this is perfect. I don't think there's any decorating to do. A room of this size will start feeling pretty cramped if we bring in too much furniture. I know just a thing, a technique to adjust the size of the room. It's an old trick of the trade. I have way too much power here. Okay, let's change the size of this room. It, it is a little cramped. I don't think you can do much learning in here. And for some reason, all classrooms are like rectangles. So we'll do that. Oh, windows, windows <laughs> might be nice. Okay, in the entryway, we can use, I guess just that is fine. Okay, so this is our basis. Now, what to put on the inside? What to put on the inside? First of all, get out of here. Um, I think a chalkboard. I mean, it is 2022. I don't, do people use chalkboards anymore? I'm fairly certain that chalkboards are not used, but they do look kind of cute. Let's start with the walls. We can go, ooh, ew, that's ugly. Um, oh, that's super classroomy. Oh, oh yeah, that's taking me back. Okie doke. So this is our classroom as it stands now. Let's head into decoration mode and start really putting some stuff down. To begin with, they ordered desks. And of course, desks are important. Every, every student should be equipped with a full gaming setup. I think that that is only mandatory. That's how my school was, at least. I'm not, I don't really know what other kids experienced. And that's the teacher, also a gamer, of course. We gotta have chairs. Is this a chair? It's a sleigh, but it counts as a chair? Are you joking? Oh my gosh, sleighs for everybody. That's amazing. That, uh-huh. Oh, this is looking so good. Maybe I'll move this one out so you can see it a bit better. Oh, that looks fantastic. Oh, teacher's desk. I can't use, <gasps> ooh. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. I actually like that. Now let's see. You know what? I think we will go with a chalkboard. I think it's a classic. You need a chalkboard. Get rid of this, put the that there. Eh. I think we could put a squat toilet in the corner just for ease of access so nobody has to like go to the bathroom, you know? I just think it'll be easier that way. Also a mop just for inevitable, you know, necessity. So this is the professor teaching clearly i think it's pretty obvious he's teaching maybe if i put him over here yes that is a lot better i think all right we need fans proper ventilation is very important in a classroom so we'll put fans in every corner also because i'm a fan of learning put him this also serves as ventilation for the bathroom corner i think i'm gonna make it so that all the students are little hamsters i like that idea i don't know why here, we, I can't put them on the sled, unfortunately. So they'll just have to stand next to their desk. It's like they're calling attendance or something. You'll just have to use your imagination a bit. Fire safety. Yes, that is important. We can't forget the fire extinguisher. Put that right there. 
she agreed. She's like, mm-hmm, fire safety, number one priority. Okay, I I think the classroom is done. It's 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 very functional. You have the professor here. The, ironically, the professor is the only one doing any work. Everybody else is just gaming their little hearts away, but you got some good ventilation in the PCs and in the room. A uh, little bathroom corner for the hamsters. Uh, now, now that I think about it, the hamsters don't really need a bathroom. It's for the professor. And yeah, I think that's it. How are things going? I am finished. Now the next thing to think about will be who can we invite to work here? What? <gasps> Stop. What? Pudge is gonna be a teacher? Oh my god. <gasps> I can choose any of the people that I've designed a house for. That's incredible. Let me see if I can customize an outfit. Dapper little hat. Yeah, that's looking good. I would learn from Pudge. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, I'll go call our new teacher. Before we do this, we need to give our school a name. If you have any ideas, I want to hear them. How about the, the, um, I'm trying to think of like a synonymous term for pretentious palace that applies to a school. We can name it the flatulent. We'll, we'll use that. I trust Google. I'm sure that's a synonym. What is frontistory? is meant to be a thinking place for reflection and intellectual stimulation. I think that applies. Oh my god, and this is perfect because front history is also, in a humorous definition, apparently means the toilet. I hope this isn't like a bad word. Perfect! You definitely want to name it flatulent front history? Ah uh, yeah. Great, we've got ourselves a name. Oh, that was cute. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, they can actually sit on the sleighs. That's great news. Look at the hamsters. They're learning so much. Oh, there's so many students in here. Pudge, you're doing so well. It couldn't have been more perfect. I, I really don't think so. Well, I called everyone. Once I got our teacher in here, it seemed like we needed some students too. Now everyone's learning thanks to you. That's great. Oh, this is, this is fantastic. Oh, wait, she's here. This is not fantastic. You're not supposed to sit here. There are so clearly four desks for students and one for the professor. Why are you sitting here? Okay, whatever. Let's take a cheeky little photo of the classroom. What 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 do we want to capture here? Pudge teaching? Or we could capture like the the students learning. Oh, better yet, both at the same time? Pudge, you're perfect. You're beautiful. We're gonna crop out Eloise. Oh, I'm in the frame, frick. Pudge, Pudge. Oh, that's beautiful, that's perfect. That is great. It could not get better. We're gathered here to take a special celebratory photo of flatulent frontistery. <laughs> the island is a little more beautiful today thanks to Charlie and flatulent frontistery. I can't wait to see what the future holds for its students and teachers. Me either. Charlie, a few words. I'm saying some words. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> I'm such a jokester. Pudge is like, mm, my god. All right, let's take that celebratory photo. Let's do it. We can have it be like an antique photo kind of thing. Oh, Nico is so cute. Yeah, that's cute. I think it came out lovely, but what do you think of this photo? It's perfect. I think it's perfect too. All right, that's great. I think we're done here. I think I killed that. I think I knocked that out of the park. What a good looking school. It's so nice. I bet I'd do well even in my worst subjects. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Moving on, that was a very large job and you'll be paid appropriately. Okay, <gasps> 25,000 pokey? I'm rich. I have grand plans, so I'm sure I'll need your help with another facility in the future. Let's see, is there anything good we can buy with our pokey? Oh, this tree is kind of cute. An evergreen ash. Uh, purchase. I think that's all. Hot spring, tabletop games, uh. <gasps> I totally forgot. We are 100% doing Marlowe. How would we not? I gotta tell you, this resort sure is something. And now I gotta ask you, who are you again? I thought you'd remember me, Marlo. We met that one time, but that's that's okay. Thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it, Capiche. Here's what I was thinking. Tell me, a movie star mansion. Ooh, that is very nice. I'm excited. I'm gonna actually put so much effort into this. I want Marlo to be the happiest in the world. Let's see, a movie star mansion. Where would a movie star mansion be? This one, oh, but that's so close to Eloise. Could I do that to him? It appears, like that one just speaks to me. Okay, sorry, Marlo. You're just gonna have to put up like hedges or something. So this is where I'll be vacationing. What a location. It'll be a sight to see when it's done. It will. To begin with, these stairs, not fit for a movie star. So I'm going to change them to be 
stone staircase feels the most fitting. I'm not sure. I need to design the house first. Uh, one moment. I feel like a movie star mansion is going to have like black and wine colored themes, if that makes sense. I That's just like, that's what I feel inside. Yes, this is exactly what I was picturing. That's perfect. Oh my god, luxury car, 100%. They need like a limo out here. I'm gonna make this look kind of like a road. This is the, the most fitting path that I have for that purpose. So you're just gonna have to roll with it. Ooh, yes. Love it. I love it. Perfect. So this car, I'm going to move here. A gazebo for certain. Ooh, a whirlpool bath. Yes, absolutely. Oh, candles, 100%. Okay, how are we going to arrange this? We can have the whirlpool bath be here and the gazebo here overlooking the, the sea, the ocean. And then obviously got to have candles around everywhere. That's the sign of a rich person. My favorite kind of candle that I like to burn, it's called like cozy comfort or something. That thing's 10 bucks. Tell me you don't have to be rich to burn candles. I won't believe you. You're kind of walking through a bit of like a, a hazardous fire maze to get to your hot tub, but I think it'll be worth it. And it adds to the ambiance. We've got to have a stereo. There's got to be some type of music going for sure. Maybe some of these little plants. We can sprinkle the plants around the gazebo. It's a vibe. And we'll also put these partitions here just in this for the sake of privacy. If the fence wasn't enough, the partition will be. And I think that we need to assume because Marlo is rich and cool and a mob boss, there's going to be a couple cars here. There's going to be more than just Marlo. Okay, it'll go this way. And then this is the way out. Yeah, I think we should make it a little more like evening. I guess this will will have to do. Or maybe we can make it super early. Maybe that'll look better. Yeah, that's, that's kind of more of what I was going for, actually. Yes, perfect, beautiful. The outside is finished. This is the party palace. We've got the hot tub, everything. It looks great. Let's go inside. Let's tackle the inside. All right, what do we got here? We have a phone, a desk, a chair. The first thing I'm gonna do is change the size of this room to be the largest it could possibly be because it's, come on, it's Marlowe. Of course we need windows. We're gonna have a red carpet going into this place, okay? This is Marlowe's mansion. Now, for the wallpaper and the floors, I want something that's gonna make it, oh yes, that's perfect. And the stone, to oh my God, it's all coming together, I must say. Let's see if we can get some of these black elegant rugs situated. Oh yeah. Now, where does this desk go? We can have the desk be here so okay we'll have we definitely need some trophies in here definitely a fireplace oh a hundred percent a fireplace a briefcase a hundred percent necessary oh he loves it i'm so glad you're happy marlo let's get a tasteful amount of chandeliers one for every corner this is gonna be the trophy wall over here this briefcase needs to go on the desk for for certain that looks great we'll have the grandfather clocks and then the fireplace right there. Oh, yes. Okay, more trophies because Marlo is just such such an athlete. What are these trophies for? I literally don't know. Now these shelves, I need to scatter. One here. Oh, yes. One here for easy access. And then one over the fireplace, of course. And then we'll put one in this corner. All right, we're gonna put the photo of Marlo. This kind of looks like funeral-esque, but you're you're just gonna have to go with it. Okay, we'll make a little table area and, oh, suit of armor for certain. And on said table, we'll have chess because chess is the classiest game of all time. And we'll put this right over here. And I think we're finished. I'm not gonna lie, this looks really good. I'm kind of proud of it. There are a lot of chandeliers, but that's okay. Marlo's a classy guy. He needs lots of chandeliers. Yeah, this is great. I'm gonna just take a quick little picture. The movie star mansion. We need it to be like mobby. Oh yeah. That's, that's the one. That's so good. I, it's ready, Marlo. It's done. I'm so excited. I hardly know what to do with myself. Oh, you're gonna love it. Oh, he's so happy. Ooh. Oh, that's so classy. He's he's five steps ahead of you. Honestly, this looks really good. <gasps> working! Working so hard! Oh! <laughs> the two 
weird picture. Why is he like transcending? That was my finest work yet, I believe. I am so proud. Let me choose. I like this photo better. Uh, honestly, I don't know what's happening in it, but it brings me a lot of joy to look at. Like, look at his face. You've done a great job here. All right, well, I'm glad you're happy. I'm heading back. Be careful going back. If anything comes up, you'll be the first one I call Capiche. Goodbye, Marlo. Enjoy your vacation home. That went so well, honestly. I'm so proud of that one. This time you've earned 9,000 pokey. Can we chat before you head out? I want to- Oh my gosh, that just gave me like anxiety. <laughs> like, am I getting a performance review? Did I do something wrong? Look on top of the counter. Spot anything new? That's an amiibo scanner. Oh, well, I don't have any amiibos, so. Oh, hello. Toilets? You can never have too many toilet- We're meant to be. Lionel, I'm taking your case. I feel like I'm ready to take the plunge into my own ultra luxe vacation home. Get it? Toilets? Plunger? Oh my god, you're such a funny guy, Lionel. Bellissimo. Here's what I'm thinking. Restroom refuge. What an interesting concept for a place. It's- I- honestly, it's like I came up with it myself. Alright, the next step is for me to choose an island. Where would a restroom refuge be? I kind of like this one because there's like a single tree. It's like there's that one tree that you pee on. I think that could be fitting. Yeah, I've got to say the one tree. This one is really speaking to me. I am so excited for this one. I cannot express. Welcome to the restroom refuge. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the first thing that I think is going to be really important is running water. Because everybody knows that when you really have to pee, hearing running water just makes it happen faster. And that's the whole point of this place, right? It's the restroom refuge. So we're going to just frame it with running water to either help or torture the person that's living here. Okay, perfect. We've got our running water. I'm going to move the pea tree here just for a moment. Okay, the pea tree will go here. A little bit more out of the way. I think that's appropriate. Now, next thing is that we need... What is this? Shell music box. Some music while you're peeing. We're gonna just close the rest of this off with these shell partitions. I think that'll look very nice. Fit the theme. Okay. Oh, you know what? Honestly, you know what's better than this tree? A litter box. Because he's a lion. Honestly, perfect choice too, because this whole island is technically a litter box. It's just sand. And then this is an emotional support rubber duck uh, for when you're going to the bathroom. Perfect. Okay, let's change the house. What would a bathroom themed house look like? I'd like it to look like a toilet as much as humanly possible. Yep. Oh, that's perfect. That is the most toilet looking house I've ever seen. Okay. I think this looks great. This is, yeah, this is fantastic. Let's move to the inside of the restroom palace. The throne room. What is that? What kind of strings did you pull to get a vacation home with two rooms? Divided by a partition wall? Interesting, interesting. We'll see where my heart takes me. Okay, I don't know what to do with this partition wall. I might just move it over here and have like a little hand wash area. <laughs> I don't really know. Oh, that's so versatile. Okay, I think the first natural move is to just line the walls with these urinal standing toilet things. That, like, makes sense, right? Oh, I wish they blended together better, but, you know. Okay, so there's that. And then we can also add a little bit more decoration to this, like washing hands area you can put like maybe a towel and a light you can have like a, a pathway of lights i just moved into a new apartment like a week ago and i'm not even kidding you this is pretty much how narrow my bathroom is it's pretty bad i can't even do the chicken dance or anything not that that's something you do in your bathroom but like if i wanted to i couldn't and i don't like being limited in that way there's a lot of things going on in here, so I'm gonna put a lot of this like dried flower garland in just to brighten up the, the, the scent of the place. It also looks very pretty, I will say. Put that, yes, put that. Oh, this is going splendidly. Now what else? Um, I think like this is a bathroom, but functionally it also kind of needs to be a house, you know? Like if there's some type of bed, I don't, I don't see one. Okay, maybe it doesn't need to be a house. Instead, we'll just have like a little hangout area. We can do, ooh, I kind of like this cube light. I'm gonna put this in the corner. Ooh, and I'll put like 
some cleaning supplies and such next to it. Oh my god, yes. That's amazing. That's better than I could have ever asked for. What I really want, though, is, like, a table. I guess we can use this table. It doesn't really fit the theme, but that's okay. And then we're gonna have this. We're gonna have that, a bidet, a squatter. That person's gonna be in an unfortunate position, literally. This will be the conference of toilets. We'll put this here. That's the bidet. Squatter. There. Yes, that looks great. And let's see, do we have anything they can do while sitting on their toilets? No. <laughs> they can look at this scorpion. I think that's a worthwhile endeavor, wouldn't you say? I'm also gonna put this curtain partition here, just for like privacy purposes, you know? Because the rest of the bathroom is so private, you wouldn't want anybody seeing you wash your hands. It just feels right. You know what I think this bathroom is lacking is intimidation. I can't go to the bathroom without intimidation. So I'm gonna add these lion sculptures and put one in front of every little standing toilet thing. Okay, I was concerned with the direction it was going. It didn't feel like a bathroom, but now it definitely does. And these two lucky folks will get to look out the window. <laughs> oh, he loves it. I do too. Now, I think something that's very important as well is lighting. You really need to like see when you're using the bathroom. Oh, that is so menacing. Look at the, the way the light shines on the lions. Oh my God, that's perfect. Seriously, interior design is my passion, I'm telling you. This wall is very empty. I think we need something. Maybe we could do like a bunch of these wall planters, just fill like the whole thing and then have like a tasteful cascade of towels, if that makes sense. Yes, that's perfect. This is falling into place so well. Yeah, that's exactly what I imagined. This is great. And maybe above the window we can have this. Affirmative. I actually don't think there's enough lighting here though to go to the bathroom. I know I would be like a little confused. So I'm gonna just add some floor lights too. Just like here. Yeah, it's really coming together. Have some leading into the hallway here. Oh, we didn't even change the wallpaper and flooring. Hold the phone. All right, I honestly think we're almost done. Let's see if I can change Lionel's outfit to just be more toilety, you know? Oh man is saucy. I kind of like it though. Oh yeah. Okay, we are done here. So let's get the, 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 the montage going. Let's go on a journey. I am so hyped for this. I love- this is my favorite one I've done yet. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. The restroom refuge. Oh, oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, oh! He was going into a conference! Did Oh! He's flushing! What good manners! That's that's just nothing. Ooh, that's a cool picture. Oh, he seems so pleased. Honestly, I'm pleased as well. Thanks again. What are your plans? Doing in <laughs> I can't speak. All right, um, I like this picture. It's kind of cool. It's it's very nice. Well, I'm glad you like it, Lionel. You have really knocked it out of the park. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I kind of thought that too. So I'm gonna head back, have fun with your toilets. And yeah, that was such a success. That was the best one yet. Looks like everything went well. It went splendidly, Lottie, if I'm being honest. I almost forgot. I've got something for you. Can you pull out your phone? Interesting, yes, I can. What is this? And scent. Now you've got the DIY recipe for a partition wall. You can use that to make it for your own house too. Oh my gosh. That is gonna be so good to use in my house. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but it's gonna, oh, that's, that opens up so many doors. My brain hurts. All right, so that is gonna do it for today. We made one of my favorite houses that I've made yet, if I do say so myself, the bathroom house. It couldn't have been better. I'm excited to see if I can top that design because honestly, I loved it so much. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. I will definitely be designing more houses in the future. So if you want to see more of this chaos, you definitely want to stick around. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.